Hello guys, thank you for coming back. Uh, I was going to hook up our own proxy middleware, but before that, I think it's better to download Axios in our application first. So now we are going to download Axios. So to know what that is, we first go to the Axios website page. So in here they say promise based HTTP client for the browser and Node.js. So, so first to download this axios, uh, so we can use yeah, this one npm insert axios. So, first to go back to our editor and then we get our terminal and then npm install axios and say, ah, right. First, we need to go to uh, we need to change the directory into client because so now we are not gonna download this one in package.json in server but in the package.json in the client so we are in the client now so in here we're gonna type again npm install axios save and hit enter oh, i'm sorry wait i need to type again i have a Type issues. I install Axios. Say now it's downloading. Now finally, it's completely downloading this one. It actually took a long time. So now I just want to think about why do we need Axios in our application? So in client. Just say at the JS if I come in here. So I want to do some request in here and I want to send some information into the server. Like if we think about signing up the website, so we need to put our information uh, in the website, like our last name, our password, this kind of thing. But so far, we just use the postman. So in the postman, we put our JSON data and we send those things into server, like in here. But we cannot keep doing like this with the postman. We just need to do that from the our client, like the browser. So to make that happen, so that is why we need to use Axios. I just want to let you see the real example but, but before just letting you see the example exactly so I need to hook up our own proxy middleware in our application so maybe in next video I'm gonna do the proxy things so thank you for watching this video and see you later